Welcome back, YouTube. It's time for the day three update. Uh, in this update, we have a completed robot CAD, essentially. Uh, all, with all our subsystems that we're planning in there, the intake, the climber, the, uh, the end effector and everything. Uh, and we've got all of that modeled out here. Uh, and then also, what we've been doing, working hard on all day is uh, machining our parts and cutting them out with mostly our water jet cutter. Uh, and we have them uh, here to show you. We also kind of have a uh, plan in place for how we're going to finish out Robot in three days with our main target time of 12 p.m. tomorrow uh, to completely finish the robot. And our goal is to uh, hand off the robot to programming slash wiring by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, so we're planning to go pretty late into the night, uh, perhaps all night, um, and then we completed our water jets here, uh, parts here, and then we'll just be checking off these checkboxes as we go uh, installing every single subsystem on the robot. So now we're going to show each individual part that we have manufactured so far. So this is our elevator and uh, manipulator wrist mechanism. Um, this is only stage two of the elevator, don't mind this, it's not cut off yet, but it can actuate up and down like this on these rollers, beautiful I know. And then this is our wrist mechanism. It has pretty good range of motion. And these hold the corals. My colleague will show. It slides on like that. And then we can manipulate it, hold it nicely, and then we can drop it. Yes. And here's the intake. It's actuated by this motor and belt. And it has a little finger here to grab the grab the coral from the ground. So if you just set it on the ground, the robot will pivot this down. It'll come up, suck it in like that, pivot up, drive wherever you need to. And then since our intake is only going to be able to pivot up to like here, it's just going to shoot it into the bottom tray level. And then our intake is also going to be used for algae off the ground. It'll just spin this in. Our bumper is going to be like here-ish. So it'll just suck it over our bumper. It'll uh, squeeze the ball basically into our bumper. And then plop up here. And then this will hold it in. And then when we're ready, it'll just outtake it into the processor. So for the climbing mechanism, we're currently planning on two different versions, uh, both of which are, um, you know, kind of half-heartedly put together, but we're going to decide on one soon and then put that on the robot. But this is the first idea. Uh, we're going to attach this hook section to the second stage of our elevator mechanism. That means so uh, when the cage, uh, when, it, when it moves up, it can slot over the cage and then kind of go down and around it like this. So then the hooks will kind of go behind and over, and over the cage. So this will be pretty stable, um, enough for the robot to kind of lift onto. Um, oops, sorry. So the second idea we had, which is not necessarily ready right now, but you can see it's this type of a mechanism. So this part would connect to the robot uh, in a rigid way. And then we have two hex shafts connecting to these solid wheels uh, these wheels are not free spinning, they're moving just uh, kind of like this. The idea is, if we put both of these wheels over the cage, and then we start lifting, the, uh, lifting from one side, it'll produce a torque over this pivot point right here, and it'll tilt the cage kind of like this, um, which will be enough to lift the robot. Um, that's the idea right now. We're going to try to you know, put this together in a more rigid way with some, um, with some churros and some Hex shafts and all that, and then we're gonna put it on the robot and see if it works. And yeah. Alright, this is these will go and how they will move. Alright, so today uh, the first thing we were working on was Pathfinder. So um, it took a little while to get the Mechano Drive working with uh, Pathfinder and everything kind of configured, but now we can uh, drop all our paths and schedule all our commands. Uh, as we need to with uh, path cutter. So. so another thing we worked on today was the alignment with uh, Apotex. So the robot is now able to align like pretty well with it, like uh, perpendicular uh, compared to like yeah Apotex and uh, follows it. And today we've also spent a lot of time just improving all of our subsystem code in general and adding new features. 
So for instance, for the intake pivot and also for the pivot arm on top of the elevator, we added software limits so that we don't overextend these subsystems. And we've also been um, experimenting with a lot of experimental features that may, may not make it in the final robot, but we'll still include the code on GitHub in case teams want to look at it. So for instance, with the intake, uh, we started experimenting with some code where we're running the intake roller and then we try to detect a current spike to detect when we've intaked uh, a game object. So then we can automatically bring up the intake once that current spike is detected. Um, we don't know if we'll, that'll make it into the final robot, but we'll at least make sure to include the code online so that other teams can take a look at it.